Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dead back with another video. First off, let me start by saying happy, happy new year. I hope you all had a great holiday season and now it's time to be back slaying these looks for this new year so we can look good, okay? Okay, so for today's um, video, it's gonna be on this really simple here. I paired it with a wing liner. You can ditch the wing liner if you find it too difficult to do. Um, and I give you guys some other lip options in this video so you can see what other things you can do. I think this look will look good with any lip color. If you're interested in this video you want to see how I did this look, please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm actually using two primers. And it's this one here. This is the Fenty um, Pro Filter Hydrating Primer and soft silk so i don't use too much of it i'm gonna go in with the milk hydro grip this is like this primer is everything and more okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do some color correcting and for that i'm going to be using the benefit um boy and cakeless concealer in number 12. i'm gonna put that all over my mouth area and a little bit by my eyes. I really focus it on this area right here because it looks weird when you do your foundation and then you got like a dark inner eye situation going on. No, we ain't about that. We ain't about that at all. For foundation, I'm going to be using the two foundations that I've been really, really loving. And that is these two foundations, the NARS Sheer Glow and the uh, Too Faced Born This Way. And all the names and everything in the description below. I'm going to use a warm pump of that because that's a generous, generous pump. And I still haven't went and bought a pump for this one right here. So I'm just going to like... Take the back of a brush and get this out however you want. This is just how I do it. And I'm gonna just roll that thing on there. Be careful not to drip, drop none because that's the worst. And it's happened to me quite a few times. And I'm just gonna blend this all out with my NYX brush in 03. For concealer, I'm going to be using my absolute favorite concealer. That is the um, Instant Retouch Concealer by Fenty Beauty in the shade 420. Absolute favorite, favorite, favorite concealer. Love the shade. I just love everything about it. It's freaking great. For my contour, I'm going to be using the uh, Makeup Revolution. What is this? Conceal and Define in the shade C18. And I'm just gonna put that here, really close to my hairline. Look at my edges. I finally got something to lay them down. Contour like at the top closer because I feel like it drags my face down a little bit if I put it all the way down here. And then we're just gonna make it gradually just work its way down there. Stuff dries quickly and it don't be moving. I, I tried it, okay? I let it dry down and it was just like, what sis, we staying here, so. Go ahead and blend out my concealer with the damp sponge. with another layer of concealer just a little bit just like right here okay 
and I'm gonna let that sit while I do my eyebrows. For my eyebrows, I've been using two products. I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony. This is what it looks like. And I've been using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in number five. I do like my eyebrows to be really, really dark and bold. So if you're not about that light, then you know, just use lighter colors. Off with the Dip Brow Pomade. And I'm just outlining, oops, girl. I'm outlining underneath my brow. Like that. And then I bring this all the way in. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the top part of it. And then fill it in with the pencil. And I just do like hair like strokes going up in the front. And then I can go ahead and blend out that under eye concealer. Just gonna go ahead and set that. And to do that, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Kunafa, Kunafa powder. I take this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in medium deep. And I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. The Real Techniques 300 brush is like really, really big and fluffy. And I'm just gonna tap in that, tap some off and just set the rest of my face. All right, so to bring some color back to my face, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy as usual. This is my absolute fave, fave, fave um, bronzer. I really, really love it. Nothing else compares, okay? The most product, and I'm just using a really light hand, light sweeping motion, and putting that on. Me slow, just like this. I'm gonna do a little bit of a nose contour and I'm gonna use the same um, powder and I'm gonna use this little teeny 305 Real Techniques brushes. I don't know where these brushes like came out. I found them at Marshalls. Bring it up into the brows a little bit. set my face just a tiny bit because I did use a lot of powder but I do not like to set my face a whole lot that's it that's it for my eyes I'm gonna keep it really really simple but I think I'm gonna do a wing liner we'll see so I'm gonna start off with my bronzer the same one I used to bronze my skin and I'm gonna use this fluffy brush this is the morphe e23 brush and I'm just gonna like get that all going up in there right here you can use any chocolate brown color I just really like this one in this sassy Sienna's palette and it's gonna be this one right here I'm gonna take a really small brush for this and this is the Morphe M506 I'm just gonna take this is the brush what it looks like i'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush and i'm just gonna go like right up in here right in like the crease in my eye it's not gonna make a huge difference but it is gonna add like a little bit of depth 
to your eyes, okay? And I'm adding just a little bit down here. From here, you could really do anything you want with this. Like, you can add a wing liner, you cannot add a wing liner. If you're looking for like just a really basic everyday look, you could just keep it like this, put on some um, mascara, put on a lip, and you're good to go because the base looks really, really good and the makeup is like really, really, you know, wearable. Or if you want to amp it up a little bit, you can add a wing liner, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Using this e.l.f. Uh, jet black uh, liquid liner. Really affordable and I like it. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna really talk when I do this because I need to kind of focus. But you can, you'll see, you'll kind of get the gist of it. I had to go off camera and do the other eye because doing the first eye is good and then you get to the second one and you just like, how am I even this out? How? All right, now I did my eyelashes and my mascara and everything off camera. So for blush, I'm gonna be using this NARS palette. I'm gonna use these two right here. Just one tap in each. Like that, I'm gonna do a little bit of my nose. That's it for blush, not too crazy. So I wanna show you guys what you can do as far as lips, because I think you can do like any lip combo with this. You can go red, you can go nude, you can go pink, do a lot of stuff. So first, this little set from Ulta, and it came with all these lip lingeries in it. So let's, this is the Limitless Brown for Makeup Forever. And first we're gonna start off with the pink look. Number 04, and it's like a pinky color. I'm just gonna add a little bit, okay? Tap it up. Add some of the other ones, which is lighter, just in the center, and tap it as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at that, that looks really pretty. And with the same lip liner, I'm gonna use the same lip liner for all of the looks. And I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors Chocolate Wasted Liquid Lipstick. Pretty chocolatey color too. All right, and for the last and final one that I'm and I'm gonna use just a clear gloss. This clear NYX lip lingerie lip gloss, just clear. So good, so glossy. It's not like that. Um, what is it? Sticky. It's not sticky at all. It just, oh, I love it. It's so cute. This is the final look. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more, more amazing videos. And I'm so happy to be back filming and i'm so excited for the new year and more good looks to come i'll see you guys in the next video bye